Hello, everyone, and thank you so much for joining us today. My name is Jim Coppinger with Zentech Consultants, and today we're going to be talking about how you can integrate Microsoft Office and PDFs together using Bluebeam Review. So I appreciate you guys joining. Um, just some, a couple of quick housekeeping items. Um, you know, because this is a public forum, we do keep all the students' microphones and telephones muted. Um, but if you guys have questions as we go through the presentation, please feel free to type them into the chat or the question box there on your go-to control panel. And uh, I'll be happy to answer them at the end of the class. All right, I'm not going to stop as I'm going through here, uh, but I have a lot of, a little bit of time at the end of the, the presentation here today just so I can answer any questions that you guys might have. So with that said, let me go through a couple of slides and then we'll get into today's presentation. Um, so when it really comes down to it, right, what we're really talking about here is working with PDFs. Um, and the question is, you know, wouldn't it be really nice if you could just take the PDF and you could extract or edit or modify any information in it and, and, and pull it out to any of the Microsoft Office products, whether it's Word or Excel or PowerPoint, right? Just being able to take those and pull out the pieces that you need, edit them, modify them, integrate them into other presentations, or even modify them and send them back to the original PDF, okay? That's the kind of, of editing functionality that we're all looking for in today's day and age, right? Just about everything we do is PDF-based. They're the, the most portable documents out there, right? Uh, hence the PDF, right? Portable document format. Um, so they can be translated back and forth, you know, from just about any output to any other computer and without anybody having any problems. I don't think there's really anybody left in the world today who can't open PDFs, whether it's in a free reader or otherwise, on their systems, right? So let's talk about how we can actually do that, right? So again, just keep in mind, you know, um, we're going to talk today about, you know, using Bluebeam to, to do this kind of bridging between your, your PDF and your, your Microsoft products, right? And just keep in mind that Zentech can uh, help you guys install, configure, and even train your staff on both Bluebeam and Microsoft. We're partners for both of those firms. So please keep us in mind. So with that said, let's go ahead and take a look at what we're talking about here today. So for starters, I'm just going to go in here and go to a standard text PDF. And you can see it's just, you know, a standard specification, right? It's 500 page document, but I'm only going to focus on one page here today. Now, one of the great things about working in Bluebeam is that you can easily go in and you can modify text, right? You can go in in Bluebeam and you can grab any text-based document right? and you can add any notes you need wherever you need them, right? So you just see I'm just typing in some extra stuff. Looks great, right? You can go in, you can directly edit a PDF and add text without any problem. The thing is, is that no matter which way you cut it, at the end of the day, all PDF editors are exactly that. They're for modifying PDFs. They're, they're not word processors. They're not really meant for doing formatting and layout of documents, right? So the issue that you're going to run into right, is that I'm going to go to a, another page here. Um, you know, when you get in and say, okay, you know what, maybe I want to go down to here, right? And I want to start putting in some other information uh, right here, right? So I need to put in some extra spaces. So if I go in and try to put character returns, starts, oh, you see what happens? See how it returned that line into that so then they have to oh, wait now it's down there wait what i need the character return this line and you see how things aren't quite going the way that i wanted right when i type things in a character now everything is a complete mess okay it's really not meant meant for that kind of extensive editing and if i go and i start typing see it doesn't even have character returns it'll just keep typing right off the end of the page so it's great in in certain respect but in other respect it's not as good when it comes to editing items. If you're doing small, minor edits, Bluebeam is fantastic. If you're just throwing a note that'll fit in kind of where you need it to or changing a word, right? You know, you can easily go back and, you know, backspace a word and put in a new word, right? Whatever you need. That's all great. You can do all of those things. But when you have to do major edits, remove entire sections, update things, that's where we would really much prefer to have something like Word. To help us do that. So what you do inside of Bluebeam, it's really great. You can just come in here and you just go to File, Export, and you see here you have got Word, Excel, and PowerPoint features. I can just go right to the Word document. Now I can extract the entire document out as a Word document. So it actually handles full conversion of a PDF into a Word document. Right? More often than not, though, in a large document like this, you don't want to extract all 500 pages. What I really want to do is just modify this one page. I'm at page 518. I want to modify that. So I'm going to do a page region. And you see, all I have to do is just kind of drag a rectangle around my page. Right? And then I can go ahead and I can save this. I'm going to just drop this out on my desktop here. Right? And we'll just, yeah, that's fine. We'll leave it as the Word example document file. Right? And it takes a second and it converts it 
And you see that it actually converts that right into a Word document. And you can see all of the new things that I typed in are all right here, right? So I can take those out, right? Any notes you need. Now, what's great about this is that you'll notice now as I start typing, and I'm just typing in caps so you can kind of see, as I start to type, watch what happens. Oh, look, it's got character returns. Even got auto numbering. It's a regular Word document. If I need to go in and get rid of entire sections, no problem, right? I can change those. You see how it renumbers and resets, right? All of my changes without any issue. I can just go in and handle any kind of, you know, item. Here we go. <laughs> my type is not that good. Item A, item B, item C, right? Whatever I have to do, go in and add bullets and points and call outs, whatever I need to do here, okay? So that's one thing, right? So I can easily go and I can save the Word document, just a regular Word document. But what's really nice is not only can I extract out from Bluebeam into Word, I can now cycle it back. I make the edits, but maybe I need to put those edits back inside of my PDF. Not a problem. You'll also see that one of the things that Bluebeam does is it adds a plugin inside of all of your Microsoft Office tools. So you can go right to the Bluebeam tab inside of Word and you can just create a PDF. Right? Just click the Create PDF button. Right? It's a little printer that'll come up and let's go up here on my desktop. Right? And I'm going to call this, I think it was uh, page 5, 518. And I'll just call it 518 Replace. Okay? And I'll save that. Right? And you see it just goes through and it just generates a very simple PDF document. And you see it opens it up in Bluebeam for me. There it is. So you see it's got my changes, right? all my extra stuff that I typed, my item A, B, and C. Right? It's just a page, you know, a simple one-page PDF document. Now all I have to do, you see that here I've got the old one still in place. Now all I have to do is just go to my thumbnails tab, and I can just right-click on this and say, I want to replace this page. Right? What I want to replace it with, I want to paste it with the, the excuse me, page 518 replace PDF. Right? And I'm replacing page 518 in the current document with page one. And just like that. I've updated and modified my PDF. So I can use Word or any Office product as my editor for this type of tool structure. It's really, really versatile, it does a lot. So that's great, right? We can go and we can work in Word, right? Um, the other thing that we can do, I'm gonna to go to page uh, 523 here, right? Cause I have a little table, right? What if we wanna work in Excel? A lot of times what we wind up with, particularly if we're dealing in the construction world, uh, you know, we get tables and reference documents, um, things that we need to kind of put into Excel and maybe do some uh, cost estimating or some takeoffs, not a problem. We can do the exact same thing with Excel, right? And I'm using a table because you see it's, it's structured in, you know, columns and rows, just like an Excel workbook would be. So to be able to take any table at all, it doesn't matter what it is. You see, it's just a, a table, it's just a printed document in my PDF. I'm just going to go to File, Export. And this time I'm going to go to Excel workbook. And again, I can do the whole document. I'm just going to do the page reading. I just want to extract this one table out for editing in Excel. So I can take this, extract it out. Right? Again, I'm just going to go up and I'm going to save it on my desktop here just so it's easy to find later. Right? And it saves it as an Excel spreadsheet. You see it opens it in Excel and just like that. You see that it's actually a fully broken down. It converts the entire thing into an Excel workbook. So now I can go in and I can start adding and modifying and adding formulas and taking what's in this row, multiplied by that, divided by this, added by whatever is down here. I, I can do all of my work in Excel and then I can do the same thing. You see that in Excel, I got the same concepts. I can go ahead and I can just create another PDF and I can re-import that table right back into my PDF document exactly the same way we did in Word. All right, so we can easily pull anything that we want out into our Excel format. So it's a very simple process. You can round trip this information from PDF to your Office document and back with very, very little trouble, right? Now, the last one that I kind of want to show you here, right, is the idea of working with PowerPoint. And it's a wonderful tool because, you know, a lot of times what we wind up with in PDFs, whether it's from, uh, you know, a report, or we got some information from, from another uh, company or an architect or whoever we're working with, and they give us this nice presentation and it looks good, maybe it's a rendering of the, the project we're working on. It can be any one of a million things, a cover sheet that you wanna reuse from an old report that was in PDF format, right? 
you get images and text in these really nice blends in a PDF, right? But it's a question of, you know, what do we do with those? Well, we can do, right, the exact same thing. So say, for example, you wanted to go in and you're like, you know, I'd love to create a PDF with kind of like this angle cut, right? But I don't need these guys back here. I'd, I'd love to just do an image kind of structure as a background for a PowerPoint presentation with just these, these two guys on it. Not a problem, right? I can just go in and I can do the same thing. I go to the file tab, export, right? And I can go to the PowerPoint presentation. And again, I can do the entire document, which will pull this whole thing out as a slide, right? Or I can just go in and say, I want to do a page region, okay? So I can just kind of go in here and I'm just going to drag a rectangle. Say, look, kind of from right about there. Yeah, to right about there, that right there, that would make a perfect setup or on, on my PowerPoint slide. Right. And again, I'll just go in, I'll drop it on my desktop, right? Save it. And it takes a second and it converts it. But you see, it opens it up in PowerPoint. And you see what it's done is it cut out that region and it's brought it in here. As a matter of fact, it went so far as to take it for me, right? And actually bring it into uh, my slide master. Right. So you see if I actually go into my slide master here. Right. And if I move the text, you can see that it's actually an image so that I can move it, resize it to where I need it on my, you know, so it shows up in the same location and size on every one of my slides. Right. Readjust my standard text in there. Right. And then I can go ahead and you see now I've got that done as, as my standard um, layout. So I close my master layout. Now all of my slides come up ready for me to go ahead and start working with. All right. So you can pull out the text, you can pull out images, partial images, full images, anything that you want in terms of you know taking any kind of graphic or, or outline rectangular area from any of those word documents inside of bluebeam right so you can work with any one of those and one last thing just to you know while we're talking about it, you'll notice it down in here i can also use bluebeam to export to more generic formats as well right i can go in and i can just generate any graphic image tiffs jpegs pngs the same way so if i wanted to save this out as a jpeg because i wanted to be able to use it so you can just save this out to a, you know, a JPEG. Again, we'll drop it up on my desktop, right? Save it, and you see it converts that whole image for me. See the entire slide now has been converted to a simple JPEG. So I can take whatever I have on screen and, and save it out, okay, to any of those formats, right? I can even send it out as text files, rich text files, even as an HTML document. Bluebeam is a really wonderful translator for all of these features. It even has the built-in, uh, the PDF archive feature, if you've ever gotten a PDF that you just can't edit, it's locked down, it grays out all your tools, um, you can't copy, you can't paste. If you're looking to send a, a very secure PDF, right, that's the PDF slash A, it's PDF archived, right? It kind of locks everything in your PDF into uncopyable, unchangeable, uneditable mode. It's kind of a requirement for a lot of government work, right? And you can do that same thing here inside of Bluebeam using the archive as a PDF archive file, right? So all of these tools in here, can save you a lot of time and a lot of effort when you're dealing with Bluebeam. So that's our tip for today. That's what we wanted to show you guys. Right? You can do quite a lot with that, right? So um, take a minute here and it look like I got a couple of questions in. So let's go ahead and I got a uh, question here from uh, Edward. Edward wants to know, does it export PowerPoint text into text on the new slide? Uh, yeah, actually it'll do the same thing. If I go ahead in there, Edward, and I, and I export, oops, Sorry, I'm, I opened up, a, I clicked on the wrong button. I'm just, I'm launching Bluebeam 2018 on another screen here, which I didn't want to do. Let me just give me one second to close that. And give me one moment, there we go. All right, so yeah, if I go in here, I can do the same thing. If I want to extract this whole page out to just get the text, right, I can go up and I'll export this time. I'll do the uh, the entire document here, right, and I'll pull it out to PowerPoint. And again, I'll drop it up on my desktop here. And this time I'll pull just the text out. Oh, because I already have the file open. Eh, I still have it open in the other. Uh, let me let me do that one more time, and I'll give it a new name. All right? I'll do the entire document. All right? And again, I'll go up to my desktop, All right? and we'll just call it uh, PowerPoint text. Okay. And I'll save that out. And just like that, see, it saves it out as the text. There's all the text documents. So again, it puts it back into my uh, slide master. So I'd have to go into the slide master for editing that. But yep, absolutely. You can pull that out as text with no problems. Okay. All right. So it's a great question on Edward's part. Okay. Uh, other questions that we have going on. What do we got? We got a question from Chloe. 
what version of Bluebeam has Office plugins? Um, all the versions, um, whether you're using standard, CAD, or the extreme version, and, and it really doesn't matter which year. I think anything after like 2015, um, all have the plugin and the export tools both. Okay, so you can get it with any version of Bluebeam to, to handle these. So, um, and I got a question from Sandra. Can Office pages I extract be open slash read by someone who doesn't have Bluebeam? Yeah, uh, absolutely. Like once, once that conversion takes place, Sandra, um, it's no longer a Bluebeam file. It's just a, a normal native Word or Excel or PowerPoint file that people can open and edit. So it, it, it's no longer, there's no longer any connection. You just need it to do the original conversion. The output files are actual uh, Office documents. So, um, all right. So I think with that, that covers all the questions that we have for today, right? So, um, you know, again, I want to point out to you guys, you know, we are Zentech consultants and we are both Bluebeam and Microsoft partners and we can help you guys, um, you know, modify and, and tweak whatever you need in terms of Bluebeam or any of your Microsoft products. We train, we sell, we, we incorporate and update all of those, right? And we do quite a lot beyond that. So we hope you guys will hit our website and you can see our website information up there. If you have any questions or concerns, you can just email us sales at zentechconsultants.net or reach us at any of the uh, the phone numbers or contact information up there on the screen. Other than that, I want to thank you guys for joining us today. Have a good one.